hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. You know what time it is, don't you? Weapon of the week. Weapon of the week. <laughs> oh yes. And th this week's weapon of the week is Frank Smith. With the spots. Bing! Now we've had to pick Frank because he's done an interview and it's just weapon behaviour and I were warming to Frank I've got Frank's number in here and I'll text him every now and then you know when I send me porky videos I always pop in one and uh, we even did a Richie Rich video last year didn't we but Frank is likeable but when he speaks about Joshua he's speaking about bias what sort of man sits on an interview and says well I'm thinking Joshua's bigger commercial draw than Tyson Fury, so it's going to be a 60-40 split in Joshua's favour. What? What planet are you on, Frank? 60-40 Joshua, it's been knocked out. He fought like a man frightened to death in Saudi. He fought like he'd filled his nappy. But he's a bigger draw than Tyson Fury, two-time Lanil. He's got all the heavyweight belts, every other belt, English, Irish, British, Commonwealth, European, and the five world title belts, and Ring Magazine, and his Laniel, he's got all that. And Joshua's got his belts that were Tyson's on loan. The IBF, the WBA, the IBO, the WBO. All them four belts that Joshua's got. He never won them off Tyson Fury, so he is classed in the boxing industry as a paper champion. Paper champion. It's not like the guy retired or vacated and moved up a weight. He actually got them by skullduggery. Behind the scenes, skullduggery. Right? Everybody knows that jo Anthony Joshua doesn't want to fight Tyson Fury. He doesn't want to fight him. Frightened to death. They're going to milk it. I told you all. I shook up the world. I told you all ages ago. Go back to the Chris Eubank Senior business plan. Five year world champion. Four champions beat. Let me ring you back, I'm just doing weapon video, Kev. What? That's twice he's done that to me this week. Five, five year, Chris Eubank Senior were world champion. He beat Nigel Benn and three other guys, right? They were only wins he had that were champions. But he had 19 title fight wins. So if he's got four wins there, who were the other 15 guys that Chris Eubank Senior beat? They were nobodies, weren't they? They were hand-picked. Joshua's beat five world champions, right? Fair enough, out all his world title fights. What was he had? Ten world title fights? Beat five world champions. Oh, what are the five? Well, one beat him. 
we had to rematch him, didn't he? But point I'm trying to make is Joshua is going to milk them belts. There's Elenius out there. There's Dylan White out there who he's already beat. There's Chisora out there. They can put a spin on anything. There's Pulef out there. There's Tyson Fury's leftovers, Wilder. They're not going to put Joshua in any danger, not while he's a big star. They're going to milk it till the public say, we've had enough. Then they'll come down from 60 to 50. They were saying it was 50 when before he went into Ruiz's fight. Now they're saying it's 60. He fought like a frightened rabbit. Joshua is not the real deal. I keep telling you people, Tyson Fury would play with him. I don't agree with John Fury on many things, but he said he'd play with him like a cat playing with a ball of wool. And I believe him. They don't want that fight. They don't want it at all. They don't want to pay step aside. They never pay step aside. Never. They don't win purse bids. They don't pay step aside. They're just going to put their heads down and carry on. So Frank, your weapon at week coming out with that. 60% to Joshua. You're a crazy man. He's a paper champion. Your head's two foot up the rear end of him, Frank. Crawl back out and smell the roses. But crawl back out. Rinse your teeth out with TCP and... Or salty water, because poor folks like us use salty water, and it's usually better than TCP. All right, so Frank Smith, weapon of the week. Don't forget, Frank, execute them with oxy. Bing! Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right. First of all. I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing, it means a lot to me, because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we? So anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com, alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging, alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.